Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a request from Erend to play Reconnaissance by Dafflewachter. Interesting name, Dafflewachter. Also, Reconnaissance looks really complicated as a word, but it's actually quite easy to say. Oh yes, extremely overgrown. I love the overgrown theme when you put a lot of plants in it. Let's read the description, shall we? Cave Johnson here. It has come to my attention that Sector AC-57 has been rendered permanently uninhabitable to all forms of life, due to one of you accidentally opening an interdimensional rift with a faulty portal gun. Yep, that guy's gone for good. No idea how that device passed inspection, though. I don't even think our dangerously underqualified technicians would have forgotten to scribble something like tends to create man-killing space-time vortexes somewhere on the observation notes. Anyways, no worries, we should be able to reroute most of you from AC-57 in a jiffy. The elevators are a bit backed up right now from the shipment of quantum porcupine men we were funneling through this morning, so the best I can do is send you up to the old overgrown chambers. Sure, they're a bit dilapidated and relatively non-functional, but I'm sure the opportunity to observe the moldy wall tiles and decomposing animal remains will bring out the nature lovers in all of you. Now, in case any of you do end up in contact with this entity, which the lab boys are now telling me is rapidly transforming into a grotesque amassment of unstoppable dark matter, we'd like to remind you that the experiencing death, permanent disfiguration, or spontaneous cranial prolapses are just some of the side effects of testing you knuckleheads agreed to be exposed to when you signed those damn contracts. All in exchange for $60. You know, I think I'll just assume you all are either illiterate or really devoted to science. Or just in desperate need of some more beard dirt, because when some of you end up consumed by the death void, your families are going to have a hell of a time sending the ambulance chasers after you. <laughs> oh man, I was not prepared for that, but I think I handled that splendidly. Alright, the rest of the description says, Reconnaissance is a two- sorry, is a set of two test chambers in order of increasing difficulty set in the overgrown theme. Please enjoy solving puzzles and exploring one of the more tranquil sections of Aperture. Thanks to Omnicoder, Custom Sign Maker Tool, Jose Pezdeje, Custom Destroyed Signage, Scotty, Custom Square Beam Models, and Demagepi and Red Skittle Fox, or Portal 2 Map Publisher Fix. And there's a changelog for any of you interested in that. We got lots of comments. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Look at those lovely screenshots. Oh, yes. I just love the way this looks. Wonderful. I like hammer overgrown maps. Demon overgrown maps, not so much, but hammer overgrown maps. They look so nice. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see that there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was completely unexpected. <laughs> oh man, don't do that to me. <laughs> Alright, yes, there is very clearly a faceplate there, and I am a moron <laughs> for not seeing it. I was just admiring the scenery. Oh, man. Right, what am I stuck on? Just some debris, it seems. Got a deactivated camera. Right, I should have been able to shoot portals like that, probably. We have a dropper here with no- oh no, it does have signage. The signage goes behind this glass window. To uh, that button, I'm assuming. Right, let's- let's do this in a way that- what the- what was I- Oh. <laughs> I was confused about the height there. I'm a bit- I'm a bit discombobulated, it seems. But yeah, let's go through here, like a normal person. Oh, really? Interesting. Does that mean we're gonna wanna fall into there at some point? Hmm... Yeah, we can't portal on that portal surface over there. I think we want to go back. We could try this first. But I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, it's not enough. So... Uh, no. We'll do... that. And this. Whee! Yeah, that's enough. And then... We should be able... to do... this. Yes. Climb up with this. 
And then... We can jump back through here. And use it to get the faceplate velocity this time. Let's go ahead and save and continue. Hooray! Nice. So now we're up here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh. I see, I'm supposed to get prepared, huh? Is that how it's gonna be? Oh my. This is worrying. Right, well we know what we have to do to get up there. So this button... This fizzler... And I'm assuming that this platform as well, right? Let me just double check and make sure it's what it actually does. Oh gosh, that went quite a distance. But it's not automatic? Ah, okay. So you have to actually be on it. Nice! So basically, once you do that, it just becomes automatic. And then this button... Yeah, just that fizzler. Gotcha. We can easily fling out of that. What about this fizzler? Does this fizzler not turn off? Oh, that button turns this off. Right. Hmm, so I think what we have to do is press the button, run out there, shoot the portals, and stand on the button. If I had to hazard a guess. And then we gotta do the whole rigmarole all over again, because there's no portal surfaces in here. Yes. Because we have to walk through the fizzler anyway. Right. Let's go ahead and save here in that case. Press the button. There you go, cube. Nice. Now, let's do the rigmarole again. Whee! I like how I land just in the right spot to where it stops me before hitting the faceplate. That was probably intentional. Wait, is that deadly goo? Ha! That is deadly goo. Didn't even notice. Yeah, it's over there. It's all under the grating and all that. Right, so then, do this again, and then we travel back with the faceplate, I believe. Whee! Oh, we got some- some water dripping down here. Nice. So... I think we actually want to do this button first, if I had to hazard a guess. need a cube up there, right? I would fly up there and check, but I'm afraid I might hit a trigger. It doesn't look like we need a cube, because that looks like a very small area. Oh, that's aim assisted. Nice. Hmm... I'm certain this wouldn't be enough, right? Whee! Yeah, that's not enough. But what do you know, there is a trigger up there. So we need a little bit more velocity, it would seem. Hmm. Do we want the cube on that button at some point? Or is that only for us to stand on? Oh, you know what? I'm doing this... in a bit of a dumb manner. I know exactly what I need to do. Alright, first of all, let's go back. Whee! And once again, even with the extra height, I stopped before hitting the faceplate. And then we just go back up here. Simple as that. I was overcomplicating things quite a bit. There we go. Save and continue. And then we just use the faceplate. As expected. Whee! Perfect! Very nice puzzle, I like that a lot. I'm already going to add that to my favorites, even though we haven't even seen the second chamber yet. So now let's proceed to the second chamber. Ooh-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> nice between area. Oh, that way? What about this way? I'm assuming if we were to go here. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the sparking. That's how you know you have to turn around. Close the 
behind me. Nice. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, what is through there? It's like... Is there nothing behind there? That looks... It's like the frosted glass or something, but that... It just kinda looks like nothingness. That's creepy. <laughs> oh my, something... something bad happened there, it seems. That makes the radio spark? <laughs> Why? Why does it make the radio spark? That's weird. Not much to do in here, it would seem. Alright, onward we shall go. What is this place called? Oh, that's just authorized personnel only. To test chambers 42 and 43. Oh, apparently I have to do something in here. Is there... Am I supposed to be able to see something? doing something wrong? Why do you need to... Like, there's portal surfaces here, like, why else would this be here? Unless I have somewhere else to shoot portals at. I don't see anywhere else to shoot portals at, though. Can't go back the way we came. So I've gotta do something here. This doesn't open. Am I blind? Am I just missing something obvious? There's a cable that leads to these servers, but... not really. Hmm... I feel like I'm failing an idiot test. Oh! <laughs> well, there you have it. That's what I'm missing. Somehow I didn't see that. Ah, oh, there we go. So we get a preview of the area we're going into, and we get a nice little animation for it. The- the fizzler turned on and the laser turned on. That was cool. Glad it didn't- I'm glad I looked back at the screen. Oh, and my portal cleared. Yeah, that- not finding the lever was my own fault, I was just being dumb. Alright, we got a choice about where to go, but I think it's pretty clear and cut and dry that we don't need to go this way. At least not yet. So there's 42, there's 43, which is where we're supposed to be going. So, maybe we're not going there after all? A lot of stairs. There. Guess we're going all the way up here, and then we might even have to go all the way back down if we have to flip another lever. Whoa, the lighting changed. Do you see that? It got orange. I swear it wasn't orange a moment ago. It appears I can no longer go back out from whence I came. Oh! That startled me. <laughs> I was like, what are we gonna do in here? There's nothing here. That- that really startled me. Well, I guess that's one way to get us in here. Oh, now this camera's active. Uh-huh. Whee! Alright. This is not aim-assisted. That's interesting. That means we can use it on the bottom side of the portal... On the top. Oh, now that's aim assisted. 
that thing assisted, but it's not over here. So, we can use it on the bottom side of the portal, but not the top side of the portal. Or we can use it in the sort of middle of the portal. Interesting. What does this button do? Drop a cube? Laser cube, regular cube. No, it's a laser cube, alright. What does this button do? Probably one of two requirements for the fizzler. Yes, one of two requirements for the fizzler. That says two. Does that mean I have to do that as the second step and this is the first step? That's what I would assume. Actually, let's try this. Oh, I see. It's one of these. Whenever you have this setup... Whenever you have this setup in a map, you know it's gonna be a good map. Just like the- the one in the main campaign that had these. Whenever you see these in a map, it's probably gonna be a good puzzle. At least, that's my experience. Right, so, we need to find what to do- oh, I didn't even- that's something I didn't even consider. Of course, it's got grating, so we can't really do anything about it. Can't even so much as walk through. I think it is just enough to prevent the grating glitch, though. Oh, nope, it's actually not just enough. <laughs> that is strange. It actually acts very strange with that distance. Ah, oh, Valve. Lazy, lazy Valve. Let's go ahead and point this back here again. I wonder, could we hit that... at all... with putting the cube here? No, we would have to have a... We'd have to have an angle like that. Maybe... that? No, that's the wrong direction! Of course not. Why did I think that would work? And that's not enough. Oh, I can actually fix that. Wow, I didn't think there was a portal surface there because of all the leaves, but apparently there is. Yeah, I can shoot portals here, apparently. Interesting. Right, now what about up there? How do I get up there? There's little gaps in the floor, but I don't think there's anything I can shoot there through the gaps. I do like these details, though. Yeah, it blocks portal shots. You can't even shoot portals through. Right, got a little kill here for decorative purposes. Maybe I could jump from one of the platforms? I don't really think so. That doesn't- that wouldn't make sense. They're too far away, yeah. I need to- I guess I need to jump from the platform down here, out of that, perhaps. So let's try that first. Go ahead and save and continue. And... do that. Whee! Yep, that worked. Interesting. <laughs> Bam! Right into the dropper. What about up here? Can I see... is there a coral surface up there? No, there's not. Okay. How do I turn off this... uh... what activates that, by the way? That button, perhaps? I'm assuming that button activates it, even though there's no signage to indicate that. How do I disable the Fizzler, though? I need a fling up here, but I need to disable the sizzler as well. And it's one thing to get up here... It's another... to get up here with the fizzler disabled. Maybe 
Maybe I don't need to fling up here yet, and really I just needed to get on that with the fizzler disabled. Perhaps. I don't think this moves at all, even though it's on a piston platform. Oh, duh, I'm being dumb. I have a perfectly good way to get height right here, and I'm just being an idiot. Yep. Yep. Right. There we go. Like a normal person would. <laughs> That opens the exit. Now, of course, a good puzzle designer would not just give you a cube that you immediately put on a button and then never use again. This is a cube swap puzzle, most likely. I'm just going to assume that this is a cube swap puzzle, because otherwise this would be too easy. So. We almost have, like, a little dip here, almost specifically designed for the cube. I feel like that's hinting for the player. Although it also seems like it would run into the rubble. I guess we could step outside a little ways and test. Oh yeah, that works. Okay. I didn't think it would. I also think I'm maybe not supposed to be in this state right now. I think I'm supposed to have, uh... I don't think I'm supposed to stand on this little edge here. Although, how would you fix that problem without doing weird things with the fizzler? I guess the, you could retract this a teeny tiny bit, but that wouldn't be very aperture-like. Eh, whatever. That happens in Puzzle Maker maps, too, so who cares. This kind of seems like it was originally designed in Puzzle Maker and then made in Hammer. Right, so... Let's go ahead and jump down here now that we know that's in a good position. There we go. Oh wait, that's the other one, right. Oh, come on now. Yes, yeah, so now we can get to the exit. Which at least is some progress, I suppose. Right, well, we've got portals on both sides of the Fizzler, so it doesn't exist, and we might as well swap the cubes while we're at it. Oh, they're even different... different looking. So the clean one comes from up here, and the dirty one comes from out there. That's good to know. Let's go ahead and put this in position. We can hop back through here and then put this one into position. Right. Now let's test it and see if we can think of anything to do with that knowledge. Yes, I think we're almost done. The 31 can stay where it is, we can hop up to the button, respawn the clean one, I didn't need to be on this, technically. 
as long as we keep a portal out here, we can juggle the cube, respawning the clean one, put it on the button, and then jump back onto here, and then use that cube on there. I think this should work, theoretically. Might want to move this portal slightly. That'll work. There we go. Put our green portal there. Ta-da! Put that there. Ooh, maybe I didn't move that portal quite close enough. Hey, did it. That's okay. We can put that back. There we go. Yes! I like that. Nice puzzles. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!